I saw the film. That was amazing. You did? Yeah. That's nice. Um, just such a happy feeling. Um, wanted to ask, your chemistry with Judy on screen came across really natural. Um, how did you find working with Judy on and off screen? Natural. <laughs> so good. Was so it? good. She's, she's so easy to work with. Um, and a very generous actor. I, I couldn't have asked for more. I mean, she is royalty in all sense. Mm -hmm. And a good one. Yeah. <laughs> um, I... I I remember we would just be, we spent some time together, a lot of time in fact, on sets, off sets, and I think that's where our little friendship, uh, you know, sort of grew, and uh, we tried to make it work, make the film work. Yeah. And it came through, uh, it really well, thank did. thank you. Um, was there some aspect of the friendship that Victoria and Abdul shared that stood out the most for you? <sighs> oh, well I think the fact that it's not just one aspect, but of course, because they touch upon so many sides. But I think the fact that they saw each other for who they really were, mm. and not their clothes or race or religion and the geography, mm. uh, despite her being, you know, this one of the most hated rulers, at least back in India, um, if not the rest of the place. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's you know, that's my little watch. It's been beeping in my interviews. That's why. It's my cue. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that was something that, that rings really, rings a bell and sort of, um, yeah, it makes, makes me, uh, makes me draw parallels, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, when hearing and reading the story and having put yourself in Abdul's shoes, what did you take away as a person? What the fact that it's not a very bad, I don't know why people think that an, the word opportunist is a negative word, mm -hmm. you know, just comes across, right? Like yes. someone says, oh, he's an opportunist. Yeah. And suddenly you're like, oh. <laughs> but I'd like to think that so many of us today, a lot of the younger people, the generations that are out there struggling, working, you know, traveling to other countries, entering places that sometimes are not very welcoming, sometimes maybe because of really trivial issues, mm -hmm. you know, like, I don't know, gender, race, creed. Um, I think it's it gives it gives a little hope to all those people that you know what despite all that it's possible you yeah. know um, just have to th be headstrong totally okay um, were there any particular scenes that you found particularly poignant when shooting oh lots of scenes I think the whole movie is poignant <laughs> <laughs> um, I just remember one of my favorite bits was this one part where we're dancing together, you know, in that corridor yes. in Florence. And I thought there was something so reserved and so, yeah, just something elegant about it. Yeah. It was true, it was honest, and I liked the way Stephen got that. Yes. Yeah. It was quite like an intimate moment, but just yeah. between you and two. Yeah, and yet, yeah, in the middle of all that. Yeah, yeah. You filmed in Scotland. Um, was it your first time there? And uh, how did you find the weather? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. But yeah. I just feel sad for everybody there because of the <laughs> damn midges. The freaking midges, right? Have you ever heard of these? No. So, so I've been told, yeah, you know, there are these small things that bite you. So, you know, we're going to give you nets and stuff. So I'm like, I come from India. The mosquitoes, I can deal with that. And suddenly these things are like flying piranhas. I mean, we're sitting on a boat doing a scene and in the middle of the scene, Judy and I, we're going, you know, and, and it's a serious scene, but we're sort of constantly hitting ourselves. And I mean, it took forever to shoot. <laughs> shoot it was horrible, but, but beautiful at the same time. You know, you just want to sort of take it all in and it's so beautifully shot. Sure. Yeah, there was some yeah. amazing locations. Oh, and yeah. Do you have a favorite? Every bit of it. I mean, yeah. just that, that whole scene that we shot uh, near at Glen Affry, yes. you know, with the three sisters, the mountains and everything, mm -hmm. and where I'm kneeling down, I'm talking to her about where he becomes the Munshi. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was just so beautiful. Yeah. Also, not a very good day for me because I busted my knee that day. Oh, no. I, was, I was running up the mountain <laughs> and had a clumsy fall. But yeah. Oh, are you better now? Oh. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Um, the film is obviously about friendship. Um, how would today's international audiences relate to the friendship depicted between Victoria and Abdul? 
Well, some would hate it, some would like it. The hope is that everybody likes it mm -hmm. and they take something from it. I think, uh, I think it's a, it's a little more than just friendship. I think there was love, there was respect, mutual respect, and there was no hierarchy. And I think that's what's really wonderful and unique about it. That at the same time, I mean, it was also the bond that a mother and son would share, a bond that two friends would share, and two lovers would have. And, and that's what sort of sets it sets it apart. But then I think we all have had moments like that with people at different stages in our lives. So it's, it's not too bad, I think. Cool. It's not too hard to decipher. I think people should take something from it. Yeah. Yes, definitely. It's pretty in the face. <laughs> um, I suppose, I don't know, if, um, how would you define their friendship in your words? Yeah. Um, poignant. <laughs> I'm using your words. Um, honest and uh, unlikely, as the title goes. Um, I, I just, it was something very human about it. And they intellectually stimulated each other. And that's what was really beautiful, that two people who just wanted to have a conversation, like two people, and that's mm -hmm. it, you know. Just be comfortable. Just be comfortable. Um, obviously it was quite, um, there was a lot of funny bits in the film, uh, oh, yeah. quirky humour, um, and I thought it was balanced quite nicely yeah. in, in the storyline. So um, would you say that put an interesting dimension for the audiences? Oh yeah. I, I, think, I think we consciously try to avoid comedy when we want to tell serious dramas yeah. or true stories. Mm. But that's not true in life. I swear, I mean, I've, I, I shouldn't say this, but I was at a funeral and I've I've come out of the car and I remember tripping in front of 200 people lined up there, almost crying. And there's bags of McDonald's and shit come out of my car. And I tripped and I fell in the middle of all those. It was hilarious. And I was supposed to, I mean, it was a sad day. I don't even know why I'm sharing that story, but it's, <laughs> it's so wrong. But, <laughs> but it's right because, you know, you can't avoid those things in life. No, you, yeah. And it's okay to stop and say, well, you know, that was funny, the wrong moment, but it is. Yeah. So I don't think we should avoid that. Why should it be so, you know, gloomy and, God, the London weather is enough. I, that's true, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, if you could have been born in the same era the film is set in, yeah. what do you think you'd enjoy most about it? Queen Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Yeah. Yeah, I'll stick with that. <laughs> um, and did you have any input into the costumes you and Adil actor wore in the film? An input? Mm. Well, I've, well, we were put in. <laughs> uh, it was, I, th I think Consolata Boyle, I mean, she's, she's a maestro. You know, she's a genius. It, it couldn't have been more authentic. I mean, mm. the research that they'd done. Mm. I remember my day one at the Twickenham, Twickenham Studios on this film. The first thing we did was costumes, just the measurements and everything. It was hours and hours of just measurements and fittings and measurements and fittings and, and it paid off, you know. It, it required a lot of patience, but it made, uh, it, it sort of fleshed out the character for me cool. uh, in many ways. And I, I particularly love costumes. I just yeah. love working on, I think that really gives a character a bit of a, it gives it a posture. What was it like teaching um, Judy Urdu? Well, she passed with full marks, I think. Yeah, what do you think? I oh, know. I thought she did really well. She did, she right? pronounced she didn't it do, quite Yeah, good. and she's so much better now. You should see her. <laughs> Is it? She rattles off. <laughs> and she has some favorite words. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. It's amazing. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay.